with vast herds and hundreds of slaves who do all the work. The cows are lured in to be milked by the slaves who use the calves as decoys, carrying them piggyback or in their arms like babies. The Watusi cattle are beautiful animals and give a very fine grade of milk. They receive the most excellent care. And the calves are never completely weaned until the mother goes dry. Milking is both a chore and a ceremony. Here, a Watusi prince blesses the day's milk. Every man in the tribe is a prince, and each man's bearing is dignity personified. The milk is carried to the house to be stored in great calabashes. The cream is made into butter. And one of the unusual uses of the butter is for the regular massaging of the bodies of the prince's growing sons. The Watusi are as superb a race of athletes as the world has ever seen. They are lithe, broad-shouldered, narrow-hipped, good-looking, graceful. Tradition says they are descendants of a noble race of ancient Egyptians. The young tribesmen practice archery more as a sport and for physical development than as training for hunting. The boys also practice high jumping. For it is in this sport that the giant Watusi excel every other people in the entire world. When they gather to compete for honors, their accomplishments exceed any records which have ever been made at the International Olympic Games. At this impromptu exhibition, several men cleared the bar at seven feet, one inch. And it is reliably reported that some of the princes have gone over at the amazing height of eight feet. The official world's record is six feet nine and three quarter inches. But of all the customs and practices of the giant Watusi, the strangest is that of their Iniambo, or sacred cows. Iniambo means cows with long horns, and they have them to the length of 12 feet from tip to tip. Each of these sacred cows has its own attendant, a slave whose life work it is to care for a particular cow, to adorn it with decorations, and to sing its praises. Aristocratic living and athletic play in the Watusi tribe is also frequently enlivened by dancing, which is truly in keeping with the temperament of this remarkable race. In sheer grace and rhythm, it is perfection, unexcelled either by the tribal dances of other frontiers or by the sophisticated ballet of most any metropolis. Just watch their poetry of motion. Listen to the weird sounds of their own music. The expedition's flag is tattered and frayed by the ordeal of 10,000 miles of African travel. Despite the hazards of jungle and mountain, the tropical rains, and the equatorial heat and humidity, every unit in our international powered caravan has traversed the Congo without hesitancy or complaint. It has been a strange, revealing journey. Turning homeward is not without regrets.